Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Juline and I'm the author of the Glory MC series, the Moonrise Beach series, and the new Heartbreaker series. So I'm going to be memory planning for the month of August in my A5 wide inserts. So I'm going to be using this kit from my shop. It's called Elizabeth Floral and this is actually one of my favorite collections that we released this year. I have a whole collection in the shop for this and I'm actually going to be using the A5 wide kit. So it comes with four pages with the additional sidebar. So this is what the sidebar looks like. I love the fashion girl. I love the florals and the watercolor artwork. I think it's absolutely stunning. So the four page kit comes with your date covers and it has a Sunday start to match the inserts from my shop. These inserts are printables so um, you can find those in the printable section. Don't forget to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. You have a collection of the bow icons from my shop. If you like these I do sell them on individual quarter sheets as well. You have some payday flags here, some decorative boxes, large boxes that you can write your events in, quarter boxes, and also your date numbers. And then on this page, we have lots of different labels, page flags, and scallop corners. You even have your bill due. So if you want to do your budgeting in this layout, you definitely can. And then we also have the thin washi tape. And then also here as the last page, we have all the labels. So you can color code. You have all four colors. And then this at the bottom here is actually scallop trim, which you can use to denote uh, some time away over the course of a few days, like a vacation. So that is the kit. I have pulled the matching deco sheets for this because I love to add my florals. And then I do have the large monthly scripts as well. So with the scripts and the deco, you can purchase that in white matte or transparent matte sticker paper. This is actually how July turned out last month. I used the Nicola Floral Collection and I love the colors. So we're gonna go with the florals again for August. And I'm just going to pull out my inserts because I find it easier to work with. That's why I love rings. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna first go in with the base. So we're putting the date covers down as well as the sidebar. Can't believe that we're already in August. Seems like this year went by so, so fast. So I'm just gonna be adding this to the top here, just lining it up. And I just love the florals of this collection. They're so dainty and I just love the colors too. So I've actually used this collection in my weeks, my memory planner. Now I'm using it also in my monthlies as well. So yeah, you can tell that I definitely love this collection. So let me grab my tweezers here and I'm gonna put down the date numbers first. Those already come in the kit. And for this month, the first is on the Thursday. So I actually don't have too many big events happening this month, which is great. Um, I kind of want a slower month because all the other months have been kind of crazy. Last month we had some family um, come here from the US and so that definitely took me away from work. So I had a lot of catching up to do when I returned. We also had quite a few restocks of the tote bags as well as the planner pouches. We even brought the planner tools, so like these tweezers, the gold rulers, the vintage style scissors, all of those new tools were new products that we brought to the shop last month. So yeah, it was a lot. So for this month, I do have a lot of restocks planned again. So those typically happen on Fridays. If you guys wanna know exactly when they are going to be happening, definitely sign up for my newsletter because I actually send those out a little earlier than when I announce it on YouTube and even on Instagram. So you actually can get first dibs if you subscribe to my newsletter. So you can know when exactly everything is happening. I might do like a schedule, a tentative schedule on the newsletter so that you know what's coming up. 
that might be a good idea. But for August, shop-wise, we're going to have a lot of things coming. So I hope you guys are excited for that as I am. So I'm just going to continue putting all these numbers down. Okay, so now that we have the base down, I do have these four boxes, which is perfect for this area right here at the top. So I'm just going to use those to cover up the days that are not in this month. I love these boxes. They're so dainty and cute, so I need to use them. The colors of these florals are just so stunning. We have a lot of these floral kits in my shop, so if you like those, definitely check them out because we have a lot to choose from. Okay, so let me get started. I first like to put in my big sales for my books, which always happen on Amazon. So I have um, two of them for this month. I'm gonna put them down on the six. And then also on the 20th. So I chose these large boxes because I like them to stand out on the page. So just like that. Okay, so on to our work events. I'm going to be using these two boxes. So I'll put one on the first because I do have a events that I'm taking part in. So that's on the first and then I have another one on the 16th. So I'm gonna be using these quarter boxes that come in the kit to mark those. And then I think everything else is a renewal that I need to do. Let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six of them, quite a lot. Which one should I use? Maybe this one. Okay, so we have a lot of colors here, so I can just choose whatever I want. I like these boxes because they help me make things stand out really well. So I'm going to use them to mark one on the first. I also actually have another one on the sixth. Maybe I will use a different color though, maybe a blue so that it actually, you know, stands apart from the pink behind it. Um, and then I have one on the 18th, so we'll put this one here. And then, what else? I have it on the 27th, 28th, and then 30th. So the end of this month is pretty busy. So I'll put the last one here. And since I have these bow icons, I will be using a few of them. So let's use the alarm clocks for my renewals. I actually don't have any anniversaries this month. So we don't need to mark any of those in but I will add in a couple of these other icons. Okay, and then I also like to use these payday flags. I get paid every Monday. So I'm going to pop these closer to the top so that if anything else comes up, then I still have the room to write beneath it. All right, so there we go. So far, it looks really good. I have my monthly script and I'm choosing the white matte version and I'm just gonna center that here at the top 
I love this font. So we can put that just there at the top. All right, so let me grab my pen and I need to fill this in because I'm scared that I'll forget. So let's go ahead and start writing. All right, so I said that this one was for the renewal. So I'm gonna write renew here and all the books that need it, which is quite a lot. There's actually four. Um, and then I have my event for the day. And then on the 6th, we have the renewal again for another book. And also I have my books on sale. So by the way, guys, if you guys are interested in checking out my books, they are available on Kindle Unlimited. You can purchase them as eBooks too, or as paperbacks. I also have some signed copies in my shop. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but I do personalize them. Okay, so on this day, I have another work event. And then let's mark in my renewals. My renewals are the ones that are most like reoccurring and they're kind of like the most important thing for me. So that's pretty much why I do these monthlies is because I need to know exactly when these renewals happen because I can't miss them. Thankfully, because I've been keeping up with this, um, I haven't missed one, but I can't imagine how much trouble I would be in if I missed doing this. Okay, so that's actually it in terms of all of the events that I have to do. Not much, right? So that feels really good. I do have a couple of the florals that I want to use. Now these are actually, oops, they're pretty badly cut. Um, so I save them for myself because I'm not going to be selling these. But we can go ahead and use some of the bouquets. Sometimes I cut these up, sometimes I don't. But today I think I might just use them whole like this. And we'll just scatter them around lightly. And this sheet is really cute because you have the little butterflies with the florals as well. So I love that. So I wanted to ask you guys if you have seen the new decorative kits that we have in the shop. It is a nine page kit which has um, lots of decorative stickers in it. So this type of kit is perfect for like a Bujo, a Stalogy, a Hobonichi because you can pretty much use it in any type of planner. It doesn't have boxes or things like that. that have to fit within a particular planner. You can use it for whatever planner or even journal that you want. So I've been really loving them. We have a few of them already in stock and I'm definitely going to be creating some more. What's great is that you have a lot of really cute layering pieces in that collection. So you can even kind of mix and match it with some of the other kits in the shop. So like the Vertical Weekly, the Hobonichi, or even the journaling kits. Okay, so that is pretty much everything that I need to mark in in this spread for now. If something does come up, I always have the extra stickers from the kit to use. There's actually still quite a lot. So I'm gonna keep this. I even have like this whole page still. So I'm definitely keeping this so that I can add to it. So I'm just gonna pop this back into my rings and we can see the finished spread. So here is the spread back in my planner. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick little video. If you guys are interested in the A5 wide monthly kit, once again, this is the Elizabeth Floral. You guys can find it in my shop now and don't forget to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.